Pokemon Master Trainers. So, what's the most important thing to buy with your gold? And what's the most efficient way to farm gold? Stay tuned! It's showtime! It's your time, it's my time, it's our time, it's showtime, it's your time, it's my time, it's our time, it's showtime, it's your time, it's my time, it's our time, it's showtime! What's up trainers? It's your host, Professor Showtime here with another educational, with another entertaining, with another exciting and explosive episode of Pokemon Masters! Boom! Back at it like Pokemon addicts and trainers! Do I got another show for you guys, so let's get into it. Today we have a lot of stuff to discuss, so let's talk about it. We're talking about gold. What's the best how's what's the best way to get gold? But more importantly, what should you purchase when you get your gold? What is the number one thing you need to do when you get your gold? Trainers, I'm not even gonna give you any delay. Well, also, we're going to talk about some sync pairs that's going to kind of like utilize this gold. But let's just get it right, right into it because I'm not going to play around. This is going to be a very quick video. So first thing you want to do, you want to go to the shop. So I can show you exactly what you need to get. So we're going to click on shop. And yeah, as you guys know, the game now, you still have to use the VPN and the APK. If you guys need more help, if you guys need more help with that, I'll put a link into this. I'll put a link in the corner so you guys can click on it to see exactly how you can play the game. But let me show you guys exactly what you need to do. You're going to go to exchange items, right? You're going to go to exchange items. And the first thing you do when you get your gold, well, you got to stack a little bit of gold first, but you hit exchange items. And the first thing you have to do is get this right here, guys. The second thing, it's like a, it looks like a battery bar. It says exchange one. Guys, this is very, very, very important. I can't stress how important it is. It doesn't really give you a description too much. It says extends the move gauge by one slot. It doesn't mean a lot, but when you think about it, guys, you guys know what the move gauge is, right? It's like your mana bar that's going across the end of the field on the bottom of the off screen. This game only gives you four mana gauges to start. If you purchase this, you know, first of all, it costs 30,000 gold, which is not a little bit. You can purchase it, you can move it up by one, but then you can you can purchase the second one and it's gonna cost 100,000 gold. But yeah, but instead of having four mana slots, you're gonna have six mana slots. And the difference between four and six is two, but in this game, it's, it's an eternity. Especially, especially when you can cheat it out with a sync pair. But you guys might be saying, hey, Showtime, like, what's the best way to get gold? I'm glad you asked. The best way to get gold, you got to go to the super courses, but let me show you exactly which one you need to go to. I'm going to explain it to you. All right, so now you're going to find the training area. You're going to scroll down to the training area. You're going to click on training area. Once you do that, you got to scroll down to the coin super course. It's going to start up here. It's going to start where you see level up, but you can have to scroll down to the coin super course. There's different trainers. There's Liza. I've seen Sophocles. I've seen Grant. They change the trainer that's there and these courses rotate once a day, every 24 hours. I've even seen some cycles on 12 hours, but find the coin super course. Coin is the keyword. You're going to click on coin super course and there's going to be hard, very hard, normal, um, you get three of these a day each and you want to wail out on it because the reward is that pearl and that's what you want to look for is these pearls. There's two type of pearls. There's a normal pearl, which is just as pearl and there's a, a great pearl. That's what you want to look for. Let me show you guys in the shop what I'm talking about. Actually, let me show you guys in the area details what I'm talking about. So see this pearl right here? If I click on it, it just says pearl, right? That's for the normal purse, normal course. In the hard course, if I click on it and I click on the details, you get a normal pearl, but you also get a big pearl. So there's two pearls. There's a normal pearl, which is just says pearl, and there's a big, big pearl. There's a difference on the amount of gold that they can be exchanged for. The normal gold, the normal pearl can be exchanged for 1,000 coins, and the big pearl can be exchanged for 3,000 coins. So yeah, so you guys can see exactly how how quick that can add up. Let me go to the shop to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Show you guys exactly how to 
exchange the pearls for coins so you're going to go to shop you're going to click on the bottom left all right so now we're in the shop we're going to click on exchange items all right so this is key this is the easiest way to farm gold in this game and gold is very necessary because we're going to get the pearls so we're going to go there and what we're going to do instead of clicking on the on the bar and exchanging i just want to increase my gold for a second so you guys see the gold right here it's going to be times one and i'm going to get 1000 coin and i have 30 in stock and then i have uh the other one which is i have six of those so those are the big pearls I have six of those in stock see those are big pearls those are worth 3,000 each these are normal pearls which are worth 1,000 each so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the 10 the 10 exchange so these these I have three sets of 10 if you will so I'm gonna exchange 10 at a time so it's gonna give me 10,000 each and that'll give me 30,000 in all so let's exchange 10 of the regular of the normal pearls right now I have 30 I'm gonna exchange 10 of them it's gonna leave me with 20 so I'm gonna say yes so right now okay your coins have been completed I have 10,000 more coins I'm gonna hit okay we're gonna do that again I'm gonna scroll down see now I have 20 in stock I'm gonna exchange 10 more I'm gonna click on that I'm gonna say yes I have 20 I'm gonna have 10 we're gonna click on that and now I have 10,000 more coin we're gonna do that one more time we're gonna scroll down again and I have 10 in stock we're gonna exchange 10 I'm gonna hit exchange it's gonna leave me with zero you guys see that whopping zero it's gonna leave me with zero so we're gonna exchange and that's all that's all good now what I can do is I can go to to exchange the uh, the bar you guys see the bar I have 80,000 gem it's cost 30,000 gold for this I'm gonna exchange it this is gonna increase my stamina bar from four to five which is huge we're gonna exchange it we're gonna click exchange to say are you sure this is a 30,000 coin I'm gonna go from 88,000 to 58,000 am I sure this is huge but this is definitely worth it this is what you need to do to be more successful in this game this game is all about attacks and the amount of attacks that you can uh, uh, put off so here it's gonna say yes that's why this is so expensive we're gonna say yes and bam do you guys see my move gauge it moved from four to five and that is epic right there this is really really important for you guys i know it sounds like a lot but it's worth it in the long in the long in the long haul we're gonna hit okay so now our move gauge increased so now we have fifty-eight thousand, but we need to get about forty thousand, a little bit of like 42 a little under forty-two thousand more to get to the next stage I'm gonna grind off camera and get that, but you guys know exactly how to do that. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna talk about how you can manipulate your move gauge. So now we have more move gauge than our opponent, so now I'm gonna talk about how to manip manipulate it. There's two sync pairs that I wanna talk about. The first one is uh, Rosa and Snivy, or Rosa and Superior, once you, once you upgrade it. Let's look at it. Let me look at, let me see the easiest way to look at this. All right, so let's take a look at Rosa and Snivy. This sync pair is probably the most popular for manipulating your move gauge. So what I wanna look at right now is time to energize, right? Time to energize, you can use it twice per battle. And guys, let's look at what time to energize does. It increases the move gauge of all ally sync pairs by three. Yeah, guys, so now that you have five move slots, you can go down to two, increase it by three, and you're up to five you have more move gauges to play with your than your opponent and it is going to be everything this time to energize is really really important you want you don't want to spam this in the beginning of the match you want to spam this once you, you get a move off you get a move off you hit time to energize you get another move off you hit time to energize again and then you are going to just start spamming attacks now when I'm talking about spam, spam, uh, spamming attacks, there's another sync pair that I want to look at really, really quickly. I don't want to make this video too, la too long. And this sync pair is really underrated and a lot of people are confused about this sync pair. I've been all over Reddit, I've been all over Discord, and shout out to all the folks, the knowledgeable folks on Reddit and Discord. It's a great, great, great community to learn more about this game. But what I want to talk about is Aerial Ace. Actually, well, I want to talk about Take Flight. Let's click on Take Flight, and I'm going to read what it does. 
it says it says sharply raises the defense of all allied sync pairs sharply raises the speed of all allied sync pairs okay the defense of all allied sync pairs that's great you know that's standalone that's great but what i want to talk about is sharply raises the speed of all allied sync pairs so there seems to be some confusion in this game when i say what speed equates to in this game it's is not very very clear the devs of this game do, does not do a good job of um, explaining it, explaining it in detail. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this platform to do that. So when they say speed, they're not talking about your move gauge speed because your move gauge is gonna move at a constant speed. Uh, you can't manipulate that yet. The only way you can can, can manipulate that is with the time to energize. Right now, there's other ways, but time to energize is the quickest way. But what they're talking about the speed is that the rate as at which you can attack. So as you guys know this is not a turn-based game you know you're just limited by your move gauges but you're also limited by the cooldown of your attacks your attacks have cooldown so let's say you you spam your pikachu thunderbolt you can't just spam it again you have to wait for it to come off cooldown usually it turns gray and then it turns back highlighted you can't spam it back to back but with this take to flight it sharply raises the speed of your allied sync pair what that speed does is that it it speeds up or it lowers the cooldown of your attacks so you're able to click your attack and then it's going to come back a little bit faster when you guys play with Skylo, you guys are going to know what i'm talking about but the rosa and superior makes you move manipulate your move gauge this take to flight with Skyla and makes the rate at which you can spam your abilities faster. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot, but being able to have your move gauge move move like like instantly refill and then being able to use your attacks and your abilities quicker than your opponent, it means the world of a difference. It means you can get your sync move off quicker and you can even get off your unity unity attacks quicker. All right guys, let's recap. The best way to get gold is by farming pearls, and the best way to farm pearls are by those coin super courses that change daily. Alright, so when you get the, the pearls, you're going to exchange them in the shop to get gold. You get, you're going to get the gold to buy the most important thing in, in the gauge, and the game is to increase your move gauge. Now, in order to manipulate that, you're going to use Rosa and Snivy. In order to manipulate the frequency of the attacks, you're going to use Skyla. Trainers! If you love Pokemon co Pokemon Masters content, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and let me know. Hey Showtime, cover this some more. You know, I'm gonna give some well thought out videos. Um, all, this is my this is my style. My style is to give you guys the knowledge you can take and take your game to the next level. And also, if I missed anything or you guys have some suggestion, use this video as a dialogue. This video is gonna stand the test of time, and we can we can communicate back and forth. And if you guys think something is knowledgeable but I missed it, put it in the comment section. You will be helping your fellow Pokemon Master Trainers. So trainers, if you want to catch big fish, you got to go where the water is deep. And Pokemon Masters is not just a game, it's a serious game. This is Showtime, signing off. Peace trainers. And for all my Pokemon Duel players, we will be live streaming tonight. Long, long live stream for you guys tonight. Stay tuned.